Stone College's president encourages students to remain optimistic during this time. In the past decade, the number of educators has rapidly declined across the nation and day legislators, school districts and community partners came together with ideas to tackle the ongoing shortage. Our Jake Sarwar explains. Luzerne County Community College hosted community leaders and school officials for their legislative brunch Friday. The group discussed the ongoing shortage of teachers nationwide in the Commonwealth and regionally here in NEPA. Dr. Brian Uplinger, superintendent of the Hazleton Area School District, has seen the number of teachers for specialty courses decrease. Art, music, phys ed, uh, where you would always have a plethora of, of teachers that were coming out of college and going into those areas. We're, we're just not seeing that, that number come out of any universities any longer. Uplinger says teachers were championed before the pandemic, but he can't say the same now. We didn't do enough. We didn't, uh, we didn't um, bring the kids back to where they needed to be quickly enough. The Hazleton Area School District has partnered with local institutions like LCCC to offer dual enrollment to spark students' interest in education. What we try to focus on is how we can get more students in their junior and senior year, particularly in, in high school, looking at education and teaching as their future. President Tom Leary says there's value in sharing ideas and experiences with legislators. We feel strongly that by asking our legislative delegation to impact the state, to increase their support, because education is the key for social and economic mobility. The college will expand its facilities for students interested in teaching with a real world feel. We are going to establish a model classroom, which will enable our, our faculty to teach individuals in a classroom setting that will be the, the classroom of the future. In Nanny Coke, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first at 10. There was an increase of over 1,300 in-state teaching certifications in the 2022 to 2023 year than the previous, but we're told more work is still needed. 